Geek Sharon, uh, coming to you from Camp Acapella. I have a viewer question that I get asked periodically and I want to help all of you. The question is this, Dear Deke, how do I make my arrangements sound fuller? My group's sounding kind of thin and I want them to sound big. I want them to sound meaty. Meaty. Anyway, how do I make my arrangements sound fuller? Sincerely, fill in the blank. I'll let you put your own name there if you want to. Meaty. There are a few different things you can do to make your arrangements sound fuller and be fuller. Number one is to uh, make sure that the vocal production and tone coming from your singers is full and rich and well supported. I'm not going to go into a lot of this here because you can find all kinds of books and videos all over the internet about good vocal production. If they don't have good support, if, if they don't have a lot of good breath there, you know, their ends of their lines are trailing off and or they'll hold a note and then they laugh. And all of these things can undermine the full rich sound of individual voices. And if you don't have full, rich, individual voices, how are you going to have a full, rich group sound? Hmm? Hmm? That's my question to you. Hmm. Number B, make sure you use the physics of sound to your benefit, and most specifically the harmonic series. I'm not going to go too much into the harmonic series. You can look it up on Wikipedia or go looking for harmonic series or overtone on the internet. The bottom line is every note has other notes within it. And the thing that makes acapella sound rich and full is when these notes are aligned. Think about Barbershop and Sweet Adeline singing, the tuning, the, the, the cascading overtones that you hear, all these extra notes come as a result of your notes being well tuned. And what does this mean specifically if you're arranging? It means you want to have a nice, rich, low bass note, and you want to have upper notes that are aligned to the harmonic series. So a full octave or an octave of fifth above it, and then fourth, third. So this close voicing up here, this nice low note down there, that will give you a much fuller sound. You've got low things down here too much, you have trouble filling it out. Or if all your voices are living up high all the time, take this lowest part and drop it down more so you've got some distance there. That makes a big difference. Also, technical things. Um, if you're on microphones, you only need one person on bass. College acapella groups, if you're gonna be on mics all the time, you need one really good bass, not three basses. In the choral passage, you want the warmth fine. but. A rock band has one person on bass. Even in the big end of the Grammy ceremony, one bass, lots of guitar, Bob Dylan, Bruce Springsteen, John Paul Jones. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so one nice, close mic, rich bass, and then more people up here. That'll give you a nice, rich, full sound. Number C, layers of sound. So there are times when you wanna have homophony and you wanna have nice, big, hymn-like chords or barbershop-like harmonies where everybody's singing the same words or the same sounds at the same time. That can sound really full, but contemporary acapella is often built around the concept of making something sound more like current pop music. And current pop music has lots of layers. Drums, marimba, guitars, synthesizers, and flute and triangle. Max Martin makes these choices, it's not. Anyway, whatever you, it is you're trying to replicate, you're probably gonna hear lots of layers of sound in there. Little layers in the back, big things up front, melody, drums, bass, boom, 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 boom. boom, 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 boom. So what you want to do is you, you want to have in your arrangement a lot of different layers. Have your solo up front, have a strong bass line, you've got your percussion over here, and then behind that maybe you've got some cool churning textured parts, and then behind that maybe you have a pad of, of solid whole notes that, that plays almost like a string orchestra, or just a sound bed like synthesizers that lives behind it. These layers of sound can fill up your group if they're singing more or less in tune. So this isn't for everybody. You don't start there. Make sure your group is sounding good and full with good vocal technique and good alignment within the harmonic series initially. But once you've got those things going, if you're like, well, how do we take it to the next level? It's layers. And much as early Walt Disney movies were shot with layers of glass, you know, like Bambi, and the rabbits in the front are moving quickly, and then the trees are moving more slowly, and then these things down here are moving even more slowly and get the sense of perspective. Well, in acapella, you kind of want it to be the opposite. Our ears naturally gravitate to the highest voice, the soprano, that's the melody, and then we hear the bass, but then all the inner stuff has to be heard through, and we kind of hear it down from the top, if that makes sense. So, have your bass chug along, your melody in the front, and then have your soprano lines be a little more simple and your inner voice is more complex, right? So if you're soprano and then your alto's here, and then your tenor's doing this, maybe your baritone's going chugga, 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 and that way you'll be able to hear, it'll almost be the equivalent of arpeggiation where you have this ding, 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 ding going on. That's one way to make sure that the stuff that's going on gets heard, because if you have a really busy soprano part up here going, you're not gonna hear the going on in the very line, or if the very is going, and your soprano up here is going, you'll hear both more. Although I don't recommend you anything with 
anything? You make your choices. I'm just here trying to help, okay? Anyway, I hope that helps you come up with more full, rich sounding arrangements. And if you have any questions, post them below and we will respond. And by we, I mean not just me, the entire Oxfell community. That's how we do things here. We're all one big happy family, all right? See you next time, family member. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Ba -da -ba -ba -da.